full harvest moon, September 2nd, 2020, in Pisces. Time to say goodbye to summer and welcome the arrival of autumn, which will be heralded by a harvest moon on September 2nd in Pisces. In traditional sky lore, the harvest moon is the full moon closest to the autumn equinox, which will take place on September 22nd. Fall is my absolute favorite time of the year. I just love the feeling that's in the air and visible through the changing of the leaves. We certainly need some changes with all that we've been through in 2020. You have to admit this has been the strangest year ever. This September full moon is bringing us personal freedom. Good luck seems to be migrating around this full moon. After so much darkness this past year, it's like a light is coming on and shining down on us in a positive manner. In olden days, the farmers would use the full harvest moon to bring in their crops because it stayed light so long on this night, and maybe that is the message that is here for us. The harvest moon puts the focus on the harvest in our lives, whether it is the literal harvest with crops from your gardens or the energy around you that you are harvesting, this is a really important time to know where you stand and how you are finishing out your year. Being as this full moon is in the sign of Pisces, it will bring a calming water effect, which will bring about an attunement for your emotions. So any feelings that come your way during this time, be gentle with yourself and know that you are being reconditioned and recharged by this healing water of Pisces. Keywords for the Pisces full moon are sensitivity, intuition, music, dreams, escapes, the ocean, creativity, dance, nature, forgiveness, and compassion. Unlike other full moons, this one is specifically related to the autumn, northern hemisphere, or spring, southern hemisphere, equinoxes on September 22nd. It's a time where everything is illuminated in order to gather the harvest. The full moon sheds the brilliant light, making everything easy to see and gather. The veils between the worlds are thinnest around a full moon, so be careful what you invite in. It is best used to purge things out and banish the negative energies back to the underworld from where they came. Make sure you close the door firmly afterwards. This is a good time for learning and practicing the white light protection of God. Now more than ever, we need to keep our spiritual and physical selves protected with the wonderful power of God's white light. Archangel Azrael is busy working with us during the harvest moon. As this archangel is associated with Pisces, he comes in strong to guide us through these difficult waters. Ask and he will help guide your spirit. Azrael watches over your emotions and the ebb and flow of life, encouraging creativity and teaching through dreams and inner wisdom. It is perfectly fine to have big visions and to strive to live our dreams. However, under this energy, we need to bring our focus and attention to how we are actually spending the minutes of our day. It's what we do day in and day out that creates our life. So think about your daily routine and how you can tidy things up and schedule more time for the things you really want to do. This month is also great for getting organized, for clearing out the clutter from your home or your mind, and for making sure your routine, your routine leaves time for self-care. If you felt sluggish, unmotivated, or things been moving too slow for your liking, September may bring the push you have been looking for. If there is something you've been meaning to do or something you wish to cross off your to-do list, take action this full moon, as you may just find things get done much quicker than expected. It's time for us to spiritually shed the dead parts from our souls just like the leaves are letting go of the 
the trees are letting go of the leaves and make way for the new growth that is being released at this sacred time. This is your opportunity to advance your soul growth. Do not let this moment pass you by. This is a wonderful time to do a full moon release ceremony. Write down all of the things that you would like to release on a piece of paper. Go outside and read your releases out loud. Use a barbecue, fireplace, or a pot to burn the paper. Thank the moon, God, and all that is divine, and put out the fire. While September proves to be a generous month, we must be ever conscious of the path ahead, the needs that may arise, and that life is always a maze of shifts, twists, and turns. Uncover and understand what came before and what lies ahead in the spiritual harvest of September's gratitude and grace. All full moons offer the opportunity to let go, and here the door is open. This is the harvest time where all the hard work and effort we have put into things in the past so tirelessly is about to be rewarded. We will start to reap what we have sown. Things have definitely not been easy this year, and you may be feeling tired, like you have been working for so hard for little reward. But do not give up, even though you're tired. Do not quit so close to the finish line. As you are nearly there, and with the energy that is coming through, you will be able to reach your goals. What are you harvesting now? Take advantage of a full moon reading, which will give you guidance on your path. This is a special time of year to direct how your year ends. I've designed a reading that will be perfect to harness the energy of what is occurring now in your life. So check out my spiritual readings on my website, CherokeeBillySpiritualAdvisor.com. If you like this video, please click a like. Also, click the bell so you get notified when I post a new video. And please share this video with your friends and family. You never know who this might touch. I thank you for listening and full moon blessings. This is Cherokee Billy.